This is episode four of the Bulking Diaries. Not much has changed from last week, to be honest. Uh, still weighing in around the low 80s, I like literally like 80 point something. But I have like until April next year to put on literally five kg. So I'm not in a rush at all. I feel like I'm just taking it steady. I don't want to gain excessive fat. So triceps are still looking okay. Uh, definitely my goal is to try and get a bit more back uh, thickness because I feel like that's kind of lacking and also I want to get more bouldery shoulders and also like rear delts as well. Uh, definitely been a weak point for me. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Not too much really to update but I feel pretty good. Um, eating has also been quite tough. Like also like managing like food and like cooking, uh, it does take quite a long time. Uh, but I do have something exciting coming uh, later on. So let's see. I have some tricks. All right, finally, I've got myself on one of these. Tefal multi cookers. Uh, I'm going to be mainly using the rice option to cook rice uh, because over the past week or so I've been cooking rice in the microwave, which is pretty criminal of me being Asian. So if you're watching grandma, well, you're not watching because you don't have Wi Fi. Uh, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, you can do a lot of things with this. You can make stews, uh, soups, you can also steam stuff as well. So could come in pretty handy in the future. According to this manual, you can cook rice in eight minutes. Imagine that. And also it comes with a, like a steamer thing as well. So I'm just thinking, can I cook my chicken and the rice at the same time? Because that would make cleaning a lot easier. see that just chicken and rice uh, what I did here is that because I because the chicken thighs will naturally have a bit of juice that will come out I didn't put as much water with the rice otherwise it would just become more watery and I don't like watery rice but I think this is pretty good because like you know one thing with cooking when you're bulking up as well is that like eating is just so long like you've already got to eat so much and then you've got to prepare all of the food and you've got to cook, clean. So it just takes a long time. And if you're doing that four or five times a day, it's gonna take up a lot of time. And if you're working as well and you're not an influencer, you don't have the whole day just to eat and train. So you've got to really optimize your time. And it's literally just about finding processes that you can implement into your life just to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Like, it literally took me about 15 minutes in total for cooking time because it does need to heat up before it starts cooking. Um, but like literally, put rice in a pot, that takes like two minutes, even less if you don't even want to wash your rice, like some people don't. I, I actually didn't used to wash my rice when I was at uni, so criminal again. Um, but yeah, like put rice in, two minutes to wash and Put in the amount of water, then literally take out the chicken from the fridge, put it in, bit of sauces, 
and then literally cleaning time is just one bowl. So yeah, this is like one of my few tips and tricks on like how to stay on top of your food. Because naturally I am a very lazy person. So like if I can find any type of shortcut to do anything, I'll do it. another month another asrv package so every month they send me some new clothes from their latest collection for me and other creators to film some content for so this one is quite good because i do need more uh tracky bottoms and also hoodie because it is getting quite cold here in the uk uh, so these are the track bottoms uh, I got them in this khaki colour. It's khaki on the website, but it seems a bit more beigey to me, which is fine. It's a bit of an oversized fit down at the bottom. It's also cuffed as well. Zip pocket on the side, uh, on the right hand side. No zip pocket on the left hand side. Double wings. But yeah, I really like these. Oh God, my hair. Oh, that's why we've got this hat as well that came with it. Uh, it has a training division uh, logo here. Went for the black cap. Uh, I don't normally wear like light colors, so I thought I'll try out some lighter color, and I think it looks pretty good. I also got the shorts in the same color as well. Again, really nice. Uh, it's almost like a yeah, like mesh material here which I really like. Zip pocket on the right hand side again, no zip pocket on the left, and also this nice under layer as well to go with it. And then we have this t-shirt, which I think looks pretty good. Um, the collar is slightly, it's like very thin this collar. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, very thin collar. Which is, I think it looks pretty decent, to be honest. And then on the back, it's sort of mashy material again. So it's very breathable. And the final thing is this hoodie that I'm a really big fan of because I'm a huge fan of like minimal clothing. Like there's literally no big graphics or logos. Like the only logo is this small one here, just above at the top of the kangaroo pocket. So yeah, appreciate you guys ASRV. Um, oh, I really need a haircut. Like, I'm just trying to let it grow out a bit more before I get it cut. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. I think I want to maybe keep it long and try and go for this like slick back hair. But yeah, really, really grateful for ASRV. 
Uh, if you want to check them out, there is a link down below. I don't earn any commission off of it or anything. It's just a link for, for them to, to monitor like who's driving traffic to their website. So maybe in the future, they might give me a better contract, who knows?